What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and by a show of comments below, how many of you all remember how life was, I don't know, maybe a decade ago, before all of these conspiracy theories came true? Back when people would look at you crazy if you even suggested that one day the government may microchip us. People would look at you like you were not from this planet, like you were utterly insane. If you said that maybe one day in the future, they'll have microchips that they insert in human bodies. Well, fast forward to 2023, and the FDA has just, has just approved human clinical trials for a microchip that literally gets inserted into your brain. A lot of you all already know what Neuralink is. You know, it's the microchip that they insert into your brain that was co-founded by Elon Musk. Now, some of you may not know what this is, and a certain portion of you all will look at this video like it's a conspiracy video. But you know, you have to realize that even if you have decided to stop learning, even if you have decided that you no longer care, that doesn't mean that the world stops spinning. I can ensure you that the world is spinning as fast as ever all around you. Things are changing. New things are being introduced. And you can choose to stay ignorant to these things, or you can educate yourself. But don't be so quick to write off things simply because you have a closed mind. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into this article. Neuralink, the neurotech startup co-founded by Elon Musk, announced Thursday that it has received approval from the Food and Drug Administration to conduct its first in-human clinical study. Neuralink is building a brain implant called the Link, which aims to help patients with severe paralysis control external technologies using only neural signals. This means that patients with severe degenerative diseases like ALS could eventually regain their ability to communicate with loved ones by moving cursors and typing with their minds. This is the result of incredible work by the Neuralink team in close collaboration with the FDA and represents an important first step that will one day allow our technology to help many people. The FDA and Neuralink did not immediately respond to requests for comment. The extent of the approval, uh, the extent of the approved trial is not known. Neuralink said in a tweet that patient recruitment for its clinical trial is not yet open. Neuralink is part of the Emerging Brain Computer Interface, or BCI industry, a BCI system that deciphers brain signals and translates them into commands for external technologies. Neuralink is perhaps the best known name in the space thanks to the high profile of Elon Musk. Scientists have been studying BCI technology for decades, and several companies have developed promising systems that they hope to bring to the market. But receiving FDA approval for a commercial medical device is no small task. It requires companies to successfully conduct several extremely thorough rounds of testing and data safety collection. No BCI company has managed to clinch the FDA's final seal of approval, but receiving but by receiving the go-ahead for a study with human patients, Neuralink is one step closer to the market. Neuralink's BCI 
will require patients to undergo an invasive brain surgery. Its system centers around the link, a small circular, a small circular implant that processes and translates neuro signals. The link is connected to a series of thin, flexi flexible threads inserted directly into the brain tissue where they detect neural signals. Patients with Neuralink devices will learn to control it using the Neuralink app. Patients will then be able to control external mice and keyboards through a Bluetooth collect or connection according to the company's website. So I don't know about you all, but the mere thought of this really creeps me out. It really scares me, don't get me wrong. I understand how technology like this could be really helpful to humanity. But I'm also wise enough to know that in the wrong hands, and ladies and gentlemen, let's be honest with ourselves, this will fall into the wrong hands just like everything else. In the wrong hands, this can turn catastrophic. Also, this is just one step closer to bonding man with machine. You know, throughout the history of the world, there has been something called evolution. Some people like to believe that we evolved from monkeys. I disagree. But there's no denying the fact that evolution is real. You know, evolution exists. Over time, people and animals, they evolve. The next step of human evolution won't necessarily be a natural one. The next step in human evolution is man and machine becoming one. And we are already on the doorstep of that. You may look at that and think it's far-fetched, but in reality, you're already bonded with machines in ways that your ancestors were not. How many of you all can live a normal, productive life right now without the use of machines? Hell, if it wasn't for the internet and microchips and machines, you wouldn't be watching me talk to you all right now. So in many ways, we have already grown reliant on technology and on machines. So this is just one step closer. You know, I find it just utterly terrifying that in the future, people will be walking around with implants in their brain. So they don't even have to use their phone anymore. No, it's just all right there in your mind already. You will become one with the internet. Now, what do we know about machines and the internet? They can be hacked. Humans cannot. Once you start putting chips in your brain, maybe you can be hacked as well. There's no telling what could happen here, but at the same time, I try to be careful because I understand that this type of technology can do so much good. You know what I mean? And I don't want to be too scared of change because change is often necessary. Yes, we would all like for new things and new medicines and stuff to be invented to improve the quality of life, or to give other people better lives or longer lives. I understand the importance of that. And I try not to be too afraid of change, but some change, even if it may come with some good, I think sometimes the bad outweighs the good. And I definitely think that's the case here. Human bonding, humans bonding with machines and becoming one, it's not natural. And I don't think it's going to end well. But if you're someone who's laying in a bed and you can't move your arms and legs, or you can't see or, or something of that nature, who am I to tell you not to get a brain chip in your head that's going to make life better for you? I think there are plenty of people on this earth 
that, um, you know, they have certain things wrong with them to the point that they don't care about all of the extra context. Go ahead and give me that brain chip so I can walk again. Go ahead and give me that brain chip so I can see again. And, you know, being able to develop a technology that allows humans who have been paralyzed to move or to or humans who are blind to see and things of that nature is beautiful. It's a miracle. But what comes along with that? We get this promise of good. But a lot of people don't think about the bad. As you know, Elon Musk, he's a really interesting figure. But because of Neuralink and stuff like that, I cannot trust Elon Musk. I know a lot of people hate him right now because he bought Twitter and they maybe feel like his political views are different than theirs. I don't mind that. I support Elon's purchase of Twitter. I support the push that he seems to be having right now for more, you know, for supporting the freedom of speech. I support that. But often I wonder how much of this is a front, how much of this is a facade in order to get us to trust you for the time, for when the time comes that you're trying to put chips in people's brains. So I don't know about you all, but I think I am going to remain chipless. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to um, cross over into that new way of life. I'll be okay being me and being who I am without a chip in my brain. How many of you all, though, will be here to sign up for a chip in your brain? Wonder if this chip makes you better at your job. Maybe it makes you better at the sport that you like. Is there any benefits that this brain chip can offer you that would make you willingly sign up for them to do brain surgery and insert this chip inside your brain? Or are you just opposed to it altogether like me? Let me know your thoughts and your opinions down below. I'm interested in hearing them. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell. And I'll talk to you all in the next video.